Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to do activity 231, the hormone connection. This is the assignment here. If you scroll down, this is the chart that you're going to fill in. You're going to have to fill in the hormone and the target organ for each gland. It says here, remember some glands will produce multiple hormones and have multiple target organs. List all of them. So if some of these glands have multiple hormones or target organs or both, make sure to include all of them. We're going to fill out this chart before we start our biodigital model. Um, I'm going to do only one of the things listed here just to show you how to do the assignment. I'm going to do the ovaries or testes. Later on, I'm going to show you how to choose the female or male complete anatomy for your biodigital model. And if you choose the female anatomy, you're going to do ovaries. And if you choose the male anatomy, you're going to do the testes. You don't have to do both. You're just going to do the one that you choose. So I'm going to do ovaries. For that, um, the hormone is estrogen. And there are multiple target organs, so I'm going to list all of them. You can number them like this. I'm just going to put all of them. Bone, liver, thalamus, and the pituitary. Now that I've filled out my chart, I'm going to go to BioDigital. I already logged in, and now I'm here. Once you get here, you're going to click on Complete Anatomy here at the bottom. Here, you're going to choose between female or male complete anatomy. It doesn't matter which one, but I already did ovaries, so I'm going to do female complete anatomy. Now I'm going to click on Edit in Studio here at the top left. Now that this is completely loaded, I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to rename it 231 Endocrine System. I'm going to name the chapter Endocrine System. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to click Done. Now I'm going to go to Anatomy, which is next to Chapters here on the left. And I'm going to go to Integumentary System, which is here right at the top. I'm going to go to the three dots, which is net, right next to it. I'm going to click Isolate. This is going to give us a basic visualization of all of the parts that we're going to label on here. So I've only done the ovaries, so I'm going to search that, but you can start which, with whichever gland you would like. I'm going to search it in the search bar here, and here it is. I'm going to click on the eye next to it and it'll show up here. You can also click on the three dots here on the side and click show, and it'll show up either way. Now I'm going to start labeling. I'm gonna click label, which is here at the top, and I'm gonna click on the part that I want to label. To rename this, I'm going to click on the name on the model, or you can go to the right here and click on the name here. I'm going to name it, ovaries and here in the description you're going to put the hormones that it produces mine is estrogen for the ovaries and you're going to put the target organs not word, which is the uterus bone liver thalamus memory and the pituitary. And that's how it should look for all of them. You're going to do this exact thing for all of the glands that are listed here. Once you're completely done, you're going to need a URL to turn it in. To do that, you're going to click Publish here at the bottom right. You can keep the name as is, or you can change it if you would like, and click Save. Once you're here, you can copy the URL by clicking Copy URL here at the bottom left. And it'll automatically copy it for you, and you can paste it into wherever you have to turn it in.